Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. If this is going to be for your May 2023, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at the person that you're currently thinking of or dealing with, okay? Uh, we're going to see what this person's hiding from you, what they're not telling you, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, if this person will come clean towards you, or if you'll find out on your own. Uh, even though this is love-focused, this could be with anybody. Um, so uh, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are uh, collective messages for the collective Leo people. Uh, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the, no hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So, Leo. Tell me about Leo here. Tell me about Leo. The person that Leo is dealing with or thinking of, what is this person not telling Leo? What is this person not telling Leo? What is this person not telling Leo for May 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? With the Two of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands. Seems like there's competition. Okay, it could be that there's a situation that you're dealing with here, Leo, that your person could be juggling you with other people. You know, it could be that this is something that you constantly fight about or argue about. Uh, and I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, it, you know, let's say you talk to this person and this person was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm never going to do it again. This person's doing it again. Okay, so let's see. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, Leap, Aquarius, Shaman, and the Ace of Wands here. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Shamana, Ace of Wands. Okay. And the Magician, Shamana, Virgo, and the Lovers here. This is really interesting. The Lovers, Shamana, the Magician, Shamana, Virgo. I don't know. This person's energy is really inconsistent. It's kind of very flighty. It's kind of like an energy that you can't rely on. It's like one moment they're really, you know, stable, very grounded, and then the, the next moment they're kind of like all amped up. You know, they're 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 in and out. They're not really around a lot. I mean, this person's definitely keeping a secret here from you. The high priest is Cancer Pisces. I do feel like there are other people here. They are guilty about what they're hiding from you. Yeah, they are guilty, and I feel like it shows, too. Because I feel like this person might be a bit of a nervous Nelly around you here, uh, Leo. Why is this Ace of Wands here? We have the Star. You know, instead of focusing on you, this person's definitely running around, like, just counting the stars out there. Yeah. It seems like this person's definitely missing out on an opportunity. It seems like, it, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, you know, I feel like this person could be secretly having a relationship behind your back. Yeah, they, I mean, I mean, they could be lying about it. You know, they're definitely hiding it. It, it seems like this person could be in, the, in another relationship where they're juggling two relationships between you and somebody else. Because one way I feel like they behave a certain way with you, and then I feel like this person behaves a certain way with somebody else. This is so interesting. I, I, I feel like almost like this person needs to get their way. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you found out this person will manipulate you in a way where they will get their way, you know what I mean? Or that they will sort of like make their point valid and that yours won't matter yeah the seven of, yeah we have the moon and the high priest the seven of swords i mean this person definitely has secrets here okay so let's see 
Will this person come clean towards Leo or will Leo find out on their own? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for, work on here for May 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. A, a, a breakup is about to happen here. A separation is about to happen here. Or that, you know, it, it's just that the, the the situation that you're in with this person is just not harmonious and happy. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, I, I, do you feel like we have someone here that's about to break away from somebody? Someone here is about to be like, you know what, I, I'm better off single than dealing with this. Eight of Swords, we have the Tower here. We have the world and then we have the star again. Okay, so the eight of swords here in the tower. Someone here is really worried and feeling guilty about doing this. But I do feel like the universe is going to step in to reveal this to you. Because I don't feel like this person is going to be completely honest here with you. Yeah, I don't feel like this person is going to be completely honest here with you. We have the world and the star card. Yeah, this person lost out on their blessing here because of the secrets that they were keeping. Uh, yeah, I, I, I see a new beginning that's happening here for you, Leo. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna move on from this or that you're getting tired of this situation here because it's kind of like one of those things that you, got, you guys keep talking about the same thing over and over again and then you keep catching this person in these same situations here. Okay, the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the uh, Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, we have the Emperor here, Aries Energy. Yeah, I, I see you stepping away from this, uh, uh, Leo. I see you stepping away from this. I see you regaining your, your reclaiming your power, regaining control of the situation here for yourself. You're going to disconnect from this, disengage. All right. The uh, Eight of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Tower here, and the Nine of Wands. This person's skeletons will come out of the closet, or, or it will fall out. Yeah, this person also has a lot of trauma and pain that's being revealed to them right now. I, I feel like this person's really maybe triggered by you or that this person has a lot of triggers and I feel like that's why this person behaves the way that they do uh, because it's kind of like a form of escape for them when they do that or when they do this. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the world. Whoever this is, this is an individual that doesn't live in reality. Yeah, um, it's not showing here but I do feel like this person could be a bit delusional. Okay, the world. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Star, and the Three of Cups, yeah. Someone here lost their diamond by counting rocks here, okay? I, I, I do see someone here being single or stepping back into that single life and someone here is going to be left out in the cold, okay? So Leah, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.